Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Steve on Ontario Telescope. I know this is not a Saturday, but here we are, Ontario Telescope TV, and these just got here. Like, literally off the truck, they just got here. And it's the Ultimate Power Box 3 from Pegasus Astro. Um, we've been waiting for this for a long time. I saw it for the first time last year at NEF. Um, they were showing it on their booth and features and everything, and people got to touch and hold it. But it wasn't quite ready yet, and since then they've added some more features and functionality to it, and it's really, really cool. If I have it here... It's in this box, the Ultimate Power Box 3, and let's let's take a quick look at it, shall we? While we have it here, um, open up the box, and there it is. So let's take it out. We'll see what else is in the box after. Oh, it's in there pretty good. Okay, that's why. All right, so after we get it out of this bag, we're going to see what's in it, what it's got. All right, we have a few things. First thing that stands out is we have an antenna, so we have Wi-Fi control with it as well. Uh, we can use a Pegasus app for uh, uh, to, to control it, and I believe that there's a phone app for it too. Um, just like the regular power, the previous power box, the Power Box Two, Ultimate Power Box Two, it has USB, and this has got all USB 3.1 uh, connections on it. Unlike last time, where it was a mix of three and two, uh, we have our input there as well. Oh, sorry, made a mistake. There's some USB 2 there as well. So things that don't need USB 3, like a focuser or a filter wheel, uh, something like that, you can go there. Now, what else have we got? We have three dew, dew heater ports, and we have the external motor control. So if we have a second motor or another device uh, that we want to control through here, we can do that. And then there is, um, of course, on the other side, the main motor controller for a Pegasus um, motor or... Uh, a third party more like a Moonlight or a um, RoboFocus or a Rigel or something. You just need the right cable and we can help you out with that as well. And then there's a three to 12 volt adjustable output. Where would you use this? Well, you could put it on 12 volt if you need 12 volts, but you can also put it on eight volt if you have a DSLR or something similar. So lots of features packed into here. Um, along with, we have our six adjustable um, uh, power outputs, sorry, not adjustable, but six power outlets here and two more. Uh, these ones we can um, turn on and off, and these ones are always on. So if you want to power a mount at all times, you can do it from there, or some other device you can do it from here as well. And then we have our 12 volt input. This is actually 12 to 14 volt, and this is going to be used. Um, this is an X XT60 plug, uh, so it can carry a lot of amperage. You just have to make sure you have the right power supply for it. Um, which we have, or you can get an adapter cable, which we have as well. So you can use your own type of power. There are a lot of mounting holes on it as well uh, on the front. Uh, this looks like a VESA type connection. Um, there's also uh, some M3 holes on the back. Let's take a look to see what's else in the box, in this off the wall unboxing video. Okay, so in the box, we have a box of cables. Um, let's go through it really quickly so you can see what's there. Oh, well, they give us a high-quality USB 3 cable. I say high-quality because Pegasus always does a high-quality job, and they offer those types of cables. And then we have three, four, sorry, four power cables. So this is uh, some longer cables uh, to power up stuff that might be a little bit farther away. Um, and then you've got some shorter cables there. Maybe you're going to power a computer or something from, from your uh, uh, output. And then there's some mounting screws as well. So, you know, this is pretty cool. We've been waiting a long, long time for this. It's finally, finally here, the Ultimate Power Box 3. It is $900. Uh, it does, oops, we fell over there. <laughs> uh, but it packs a lot of functionality into a small box. Start adding everything up and it will, uh, um, uh, you know, it makes sense. Uh, it is recognized. It is designed for harsher environments. So being in Canada, uh, it's cold outside. I know I can use this. I won't have any problems at all. Um, uh, so some really, really cool features. So if you've been waiting like I've been waiting for it and other people have been waiting for it, they are here um, uh, and they're they're ready to go. Uh, if you're looking for a NYX 101 mount, we've got that as well. So, you know, don't, don't hold back. Of course, these will integrate to, uh, together nicely and then all work on the Unity platform. Um, I had the Ultima Power Box 1, and I have a 2. Uh, now I can get a 3. Uh, I've always liked the Power Box. It keeps everything there in one easy-to-get-to location and uh, keeps your cable management in uh, a very... Um, you can really neaten it up and have everything come to one device. You know, we can put our computer on top of here, maybe using a Melee, maybe using a... Uh, 
uh, Stellar View X, maybe you're using an ASI Air, whatever, you can connect it to here. Um, now you're thinking, well, I can't control this from the ASI Air. You know what? You're right. You, uh, you can't. Um, but what you can do is you can set this up initially. You see right here, see, there's that temperature sensor. That's your temperature and humidity um, sensor. So it's built in. We don't have any external dongles. So we can set this up, turn on the automatic dew control, set up all our other voltages and stuff. And then we can have this just turn on and run and do all our dew control and so on that we don't need to do anything else. And then we can control it through Wi-Fi from, from a separate app. Um, so there's some great, really good options on here. Um, really, really like uh, what Pegasus does. Uh, we were their first dealers in North America and uh, um, uh, have grown with them. Uh, they put out some good things. I consider them to be good, good personal friends of mine, uh, Evans and Angelos. And okay, staff this as well. <laughs> and uh, um, everybody else that works there. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again at NEF. So if you're going to NEF, uh, you know, you can check this out over there as well, or you can uh, check it out now and, you know, put in an order for one. But uh, uh, we do have them and uh, they're ready to go. So, anyways, yeah, I know. Sean, you're right. It's unexpected Tuesday afternoon OTA stream. Hey, what can I say? It, we're here and I, I couldn't wait to get this out uh, there to let everyone know. Um, maybe we'll talk about it more on Saturday. We'll go from there. Anyways, clear skies, everyone. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, short notice. And uh, if you have any questions, put a comment below or hit us up uh, the regular channels, and we'll uh, talk to you then. Clear skies. Bye-bye.